Oh, and the best part, Connie's sister is named Bonnie. <laughs> it's pneumothorax. I popped his lung. You're hurting my son. Get off him! No, his lung deflated during CPR. It's very common. It's not as bad as it sounds. You don't know what you're doing! Hey. I want someone to hey. 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 Look! Look! Look at your son! Look at him! If you don't let me do my job, he's gonna die. You hear me? <laughs> my department chief with a direct order to transport Margot to Northside. Oh, great. Let me talk to him. We're going to med. What I'm telling you is that I find it hard to believe that there's no way to achieve that result without destroying a city employee's property. I didn't destroy her property. I dropped it. It slipped. My life was so much easier when you were a firefighter. And here you are, back on Ambo, raising my blood pressure one shift at a time. If doing right by my patient... I'm not disputing your medical judgment. I'm just saying there's better ways to do things. Well, maybe I just don't have your gift of diplomacy. Gabby. Oh, sirens don't mean a thing to anyone anymore. Just to watch out! How fast were you going when the pedestrian appeared? Uh, I'd say about 20, 25. Which? Closer to 20. Is there a difference? I need to get the facts straight. If you're unclear, presumption will be that you didn't. 20 miles per hour, last time I looked at the speedometer, crossing Larrabee in the leftmost lane. That's specific enough? Okay, Dawson, let's take it down a notch. I'm here for you. No, you wanted hey, to be specific? Let's be specific. Dawson. I had the lights and sirens on, and I was on the horn. Guy steps in the middle of the road, not 10 feet in front of me, from behind the cover of a van. The time between him stepping in the road and me slamming on my brakes was about a second, but I saw the look in his eyes. They were blue. Am I wrong? If you're really brave and strong today, in this new home, everything's gonna turn out even better. And we're not going to. I will always be here for you. Anytime you want. The rest of your life. I will always love you. We two are an example. Every one of us. The proof that love really can conquer all. Maybe you're just too stubborn to be beaten. Gabby is anyway. Oh. <laughs> pull the blinds. Pull the blinds. What? My new job. I mean, there's only so much pep one can take before you. I just need like five minutes of alone time to get my head in the game. No, 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 no. Accident 61, kitchen accident 92. It's us, Jocelyn, up and Adam, let's go. You cracked a rib doing compressions. We're part of Observe Only, did you not understand? Stupid kid. What would you have done? The exact same thing. We know we're not allowed to train anymore. Yeah, I'd like to talk to you about that, actually. At a later date. Much later. Actually, uh, about that. You've been ordered to mandatory retraining next shift. Reports of the Fisher Classroom, third floor of the Academy, 8 a.m. sharp. And now, uh, bring in number two pencil. Retraining? Like, every day isn't retraining already? I should be the teacher of that class. Hell, I am the teacher. And one thing they're gonna say to me that I haven't seen or done a hundred times. The T in the NIST protocol, what does it stand for? Take it to the hospital? The T stands for Treatments Administered. Ah. <sighs> Oh, that was fast. Results are in. 98. Oh, see, Dawson? You put a little time and effort into it. I really off. That's awesome. Congrats, truly. It's great. Tell me. Did you pass? Oh, no, Dawson. Look, it's okay. Because I'd be a really good tutor. And next time, 